The ancient one whom we saw last in the Doctor Strange movie is confirmed to return for the Avengers Endgame. She is a fascinating character with certain degree of mysticism surrounding her origin and powers. Ancient One might not be the most powerful magic wielder in the comics, but in Marvel Cinematic Universe, she is definitely the top tier sorcerer. But I see through you. Some argue that Thanos didn't embark on his journey to collect the stones until some of the powerful beings like Odin and Ancient One were dead, as he considered them to be a threat big enough to foil his childhood plans of balancing the universe. Your planet was on the brink of collapse. I'm the one who stopped that. In the Doctor Strange movie, Marvel didn't give us much details about the Ancient One other than the fact that she has been the Sorcerer Supreme and the Guardian of the Realm for a few centuries. She has mastered numerous spells, including some dark spells that allowed her to siphon energy from Dormammu's dark dimension without being corrupted. Her mastery is evident from the fact that she didn't only defeat her student Caecilius along with his jealots, but she could also channel dark dimension's energy at whim. She didn't lose self-control and didn't turn into one of Dormammu's puppets like her students. It's true. She does draw power from the dark dimension. Unfortunately, Ancient One dies in the very same movie and Marvel didn't tell us much about her backstory. It was hard to believe then that it will be her last appearance in the MCU. And now we know that she will return in Avengers Endgame probably for a few minutes of screen time. It will be unwise to assume that Avengers Endgame will be the last time we see the Ancient One in the MCU. Doctor Strange 2, which is said to be in works, will either see the Ancient One return in some form, or her influence and deeds will have some influence over the plot of the movie. It is unlikely though that she will get a solo movie of her own. But maybe in some of the TV series that Disney recently announced for the Disney Plus, its upcoming streaming platform, we might get to see her in some of them in one form or the another. We hope Disney starts a new show exploring the mystical realm of the MCU and we might get to learn more about the Ancient One and her feats in one of these series. But we don't have to wait for that long to know the bits and pieces about her. Since Marvel draws heavily from the comic books for their stories and character arcs to be put in movies and TV shows, we can look back on the comic history of the Ancient One to find some of the answers that dispels the mystery surrounding the former Sorcerer Supreme. Arrogance and fear still keep you from learning the simplest and most significant lesson of all. Which is? It's not about you. In comics, Ancient One is a man from Kamal Taj, a village in ancient Tibet, not Nepal. Some 500 years ago, he lived there as a farmer. One day, one of the fellow villagers, Kalu, somehow discovers magic. The Ancient One, along with the fellow friend, starts exploring and practicing magic. But soon they discover that they have different vision and plan for how to use this newfound power. The Ancient One wanted to do good, but Kalu wanted to enslave people and rule over nearby villages as their king. However, they agreed on few things, and they casted a spell on Kamartaj that eradicated diseases, poverty, and age. Everyone in Kamartaj became an immortal. Not that they can't be killed, but they won't die of old age. This utopia didn't last long. Kalu cast a mind control spell over the people of Kamartaj and was crowned as the king. Kalu continued to increase the degree of his mind control to make his fellow people nothing more than mindless order adhering subjects. This didn't go well with the Ancient One. He decided to stop this and confronted Kalu, who used his mystic arts to paralyze him, thus ending the threat to his long reign. Or so he thought. The Ancient One, even though physically paralyzed, used his mental capability to conjure powerful mystical forces to stop his former friend. It is important to remember that at this point, Ancient One hadn't still mastered the mystical arts. The summoned mystical forces created a fatal epidemic that killed all of Kamartaj. Kalu decided to flee to another dimension from which he emerges only 5 centuries later. The outcome was not what Ancient One had anticipated or wanted. He didn't want to kill the people of Kamartaj, but he was not able to assert that level of control over the summoned mystical creatures because of the lack of expertise. 
This event stripped the ancient one of his immortality but ensured that he would age slowly, slow enough to live another 500 years. This is one of many ways how MCU's Ancient One is different from the comic version. As in the movie we learned that secret of a ageless life is our ability to tap into the energy of the dark dimension. To make magic. The fall of Kamar Taj sook the Ancient One. He set out on a journey to find the other sorcerers and to stop the users of black magic. He came across an ancient order of sorcerers headed by the leader known as the Ancient One. He practiced and learned magic with them. It is very much like Doctor Strange finding other sorcerers and the Ancient One in Kamar Taj in the Doctor Strange movie. Ancient One showed exemplary natural talent in the mystical arts. He was the first ever human to meet the Eternity, the living cosmic embodiment of the universe. It was the Eternity that handed the Eye of Agamato to the Ancient One. The Eye belonged to the first Saucer Supreme of the Earth, Agamato. Well, the true origins of the artifact are not known for certain. Some believe that Agamato himself created the Eye, while others believe that he found it drifting amidst the stars. The Eye of Agamato is a powerful mystical artifact but unlike the MCU version, it doesn't house the Time Stone, one of the six known Infinity Stones. In the movies, we never see the Eye of Agamato being used the way it has been used in the comics, where this artifact possesses powers like dispelling illusions, disguises. The Eye emits rays that can weaken the black magic and the users of dark mystic arts. The Eye of Agamato can be used to see past events and keep track of other mystical beings in the universe. The Ancient One used the Eye of Agamato to keep Dormammu at bay. However, he never managed to defeat the Overlord of the Dark Dimension. The achievements of the Ancient One over the years earned him the title of the Earth's Sorcerer Supreme. The Ancient One not only taught and guided Stephen Strange when he came looking for the cure to his damaged hands, but he also made him the most powerful sorcerer in the known universe. Teach me. No. Doctor Strange and Ancient One fought a few battles together. When Omar, the twin sister of Dormammu, invades Earth, Doctor Strange finds himself inadequate to stop the mighty Omar. He seeks the help of the Ancient One, who asks him to release an ancient evil mystical being called Zom, who was kept locked away in the void far from all of the reality by Eternity himself. The Zom was evil in all its manifestation, created to end all the living. Umar flees back to the Dark Dimension, leaving Doctor Strange and the Ancient One to deal with the unstoppable Zom. They fight at the Stonehenge in Britain. However, their combined powers proves to be no match for the Zom. To win the battle, the Ancient One seems to sacrifice himself and channel his powers into Doctor Strange, who then cuts Zom's top knot, which leads to Living Tribunal's appearance, the most powerful being in the Marvel Multiverse, second only to one above all. The Living Tribunal banishes Jom to another dimension, never to be seen again. And a few days later, the Ancient One returns back to Doctor Strange unharmed and all with his powers and glory. In the movies, the Ancient One is killed by the injury that she incurred from the fall after Caecilius managed to stab her, perhaps not a fitting goodbye to such a monumental character. However, in the comics, the Ancient One gets one of a kind farewell. He is killed by Doctor Strange. Once a level 3 demon called Suma Garath tried entering the Earth's dimension through Ancient One's mind. To prevent the demon's invasion, the Ancient One asks Doctor Strange to destroy the part of his brain that is responsible for the ego. However, the physical body of the Ancient One gets destroyed. But although dead in the physical sense, Ancient One has made several appearances since then in astral form, be it for guiding Doctor Strange or to avoid other calamities. And we hope we get to see the Ancient One in future MCU movies too, either in flashbacks or in the astral forms. Well, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel for our upcoming content.